All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we got a video from Gothic Therapy over on YouTube. A lot of people sent me this video because they wanted me uh, to talk about the subject of it, which is essentially Kim Belair. Apparently, Kim Belair had a podcast uh, called The Sexiest Podcast. Uh, weird, but okay, whatever. Uh, the Sexiest Podcast, she's, she's free to talk about whatever. But I find it very interesting and ironic because apparently in this podcast, they are essentially sexualizing some of the weirdest characters that you can sexualize with. One of them being Bowser, apparently, from Mario, which I just find absolutely hilarious from a company that hates when you sexualize real-looking women, right? You're only allowed to sexualize the things that are weird, manly, creature-like, or whatever, but you can't sexualize actual real-looking females. That's too offensive for them, and that's why them, as a consultancy group, like to change those particular things and piss off gamers in the meantime. Uh, man talk. So let's get into this video, guys, from Gothic Therapy. But of course, before we do, if you are new here, just consider hitting that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it and like the video to push us out into that YouTube algorithm. Let's get it. Inks founders all in their glory. Ranking sexy in a sad, twisted story. From DEI to this cringeworthy mess. They're gaming's biggest joke. No more, no less. Okay, so this is going to be an interesting... Did we just open this with a rhyme? Interesting video because this is going to be I, I i don't know how long it's going to be but uh we're going to be talking about a podcast they did that is literally on the, the 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 site the account is still on twitter it is called the sexiest podcast honey would you like to read what the description of the sexiest podcast is so really quick before we get into that i double checked it it is in fact on soundcloud it does exist. They they have deleted videos or they are deleting videos. I really don't know. Uh, but it does exist. This was from six years ago. Six years ago, just to keep an FYI. But there is currently, at the time of this filming, four uh, episodes left. And they vary uh, basically anywhere from 40 to 50 minutes. They're a little under an hour long. Uh, this one, Sexiest Podcast 2.0, seems to be an introduction over the the stream or something and they put it on the hashtag comedy and entertainment which again whatever but yeah they're about an hour under and, and i expect this to be deleted after these videos get out especially once my video smash jt everybody like once all these videos get out i guarantee you it's going to be deleted but let's get into it again sure the sexiest podcast is a weekly ranking of the sexiest everything join hosts kim belair and ari mcgillivare gillivray and their guests as they delve into topics ranging from movie monsters to and sea creatures to emoji and ice cream to finally determine what really is the sexiest new episodes every Wednesday. So, and they haven't made a new episode in six years. I wonder why. As far as we know. Now, these episodes that were there are, are pretty high up a episode number, so I'm assuming that they've deleted some of them. I want to give you all a disclaimer. This channel is not for children, but this is most definitely not for children. So if you are a child and you're listening to this, you know what you signed up for, or cover your ears, stick your fingers in them. I also want to point out one thing quickly. There was one like on that podcast episode. Well, I mean, let's be fair. They don't really get views or anything, you know, like SP SBI and the people who try to show for them don't. Ex they're not exactly popular creators. Let's just be honest here. <laughs> <laughs> this, by the way, this file that I made is 25 minutes. We're not going to watch all of it because trust me, you'll want to stop. And it is literally titled. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> of ah, course you did. What the fuck? Who's from there? Oh, let's go back. Oh, this one. No, you're not. But you'll be yeah. ready. All right, Kim. Here we okay. go. Oh, this one actually might be Good. interesting. Okay. Because it's sexiest Smash Brother. Oh, boy. There's a lot to choose from there. As the lounge version of Celebrate Good Time. This is the podcast actually talking right now. For those of you listening on this video right now, this is the podcast talking. And Kim Belair is being asked the question, what is the sexiest Smash Brother? Which... Okay. Plays on in the background. <laughs> Do you not remember the Smash Brothers? <laughs> I'm familiar with the, with the Smash Bros. Um, I just, I mean, I already have mine. I got a couple too. Okay, so let's, 
Let's just talk about the Smash Bros. Well, that that's all we got to do. We okay, got to start getting through these Smash Bros. I can do it. So I'm going to right away eliminate. We, we got to start getting through these Smash Bros. Oh, my God. The fucking hilarious the hilarity of that statement. The Mario Bros. Oh, yeah, you got to. Yeah. Are we going to have to... Um, not everyone has a different skin, but because Samus does have two very unique suits, are we going to have to call one over the other? The thing is, I'm never. I've no, never it's never going to be zero suit. The zero suit. Never, never going to be zero have. suit. Because it's like it's not. It's never been what Samus needed. No. And it felt, and it still feels to me like fan service. One hundred percent. Yeah, and I think that there's something extremely sexy about like a bounty hunter in full armor. Yeah. So much armor that it was a surprise at the end. Yeah, but it which is funny because in the in the years since then, they've altered her costume enough that it's got an extremely feminine yeah. figure. Yeah. Right? Like it's the full hour like it's an hourglass essentially, but with the But how would you know what a feminine figure is when every single character you guys work on doesn't have an hourglass figure? Like you, it's so ironic to hear them talk about. Yeah, it has an extremely feminine figure. What do you know as a feminine figure? The the females you're making look like fucking androgynous boys. What are you? What are you talking about? Our oh now. So apparently six years ago they knew what a feminine figure looked like. So that means they're purposely making these characters not look feminine. Which again just goes to the entire notion we've been talking about for the longest time now. Huge shoulders. Yeah, and I think I don't know that helmet's very sexy. I have a very weird thing for huge shoulders in armor. Like, I don't know what it is, but whenever, when I played World of Warcraft... I was just going to ask, I'm like, were you a World of Warcraft fan, though? Because that's their whole deal, right? Yes. When I played World of Warcraft, I made my character male simply because the male armor variations had these massive shoulder pieces, and the female, they didn't do it. Mm. Like, they were weirdly gendered in their armor in World of Warcraft. Maybe they've changed that since. There's nothing weirdly gendered about giving males bigger shoulders because we do. We have bigger shoulders on average. Even some of the biggest female bodybuilders, most of the muscle that they gain is not in their shoulders. Most of it's in their actual chest and their legs, especially their legs. You know, if you ever look at a female bodybuilder, their shoulders still look fairly small in comparison, but males are massive. So it's really not weird at all. If you think that's weird, you clearly don't know what people look like. But... Yeah, there is something about big shoulders and armor that, like, gets my motor running. Disclaimer. What you are about to hear is going to be uncensored. It is oh, going boy. to be extremely graphic descriptions of something you never wanted to know. Oh, no. Given we to the and we will, not, we will not be able to use a bleep button on this. Just a fair warning. Through it, Kim. Bowser, I feel like he has to be on my list. Oh, because no. he is he's Bowser. bondage daddy sexy. Bondage oh, daddy, no. but also like good literal father. daddy. Yeah. You heard her. I'm not repeating that. What? If Bowser's like, in the game, yeah. he's going to make the list. I just think he's cool. Oh my God. Do you remember Bowser Day? One day, Ari and I, um, when we used to, when did, we. Did she just call Bowser bondage daddy? <sighs> These are the same people who are trying to morally speak over you, right? These are the same people who are trying to claim to be morally superior above you, which is the hilarious thing, right? I never claim to be morally superior over anybody. I don't care. I have my opinions. You have your opinions. But these are the people that are on Twitter trying to claim to be the moral police. They're the ones that get mad at you if you sexualize Eve. Meanwhile, they're over here saying that fucking Bowser is bondage daddy. That's that's what we're doing right now, bro. Back in the day, when we used to work together. Yeah, she sent me on our internal communication link uh, a link to say, like, look up Bowser Day on Tumblr. Yep. Oh, and no. Bowser Day was calling my bluff. <laughs> you like to talk about how sexy. how sexy Bowser is. Yeah, that's kind of a fun thing that you do. Would you would you like to see it? Do you want? Do you want some fan art? Piles and piles of very naked, very, very fallacy. Yep. Very like hardcore bondage Bowser. Yep. Here it is. Sometimes he had a turtle penis. Sometimes it was a mammalian penis. I mean, 
I'm I, I'm one of those people who on the internet I'm gonna click it and when I go to the Bowser date tag I can go like oh no this isn't what I wanted better look at all hey, there's something hilarious about the stone face looking avatars just while they're listening to this absolutely ridiculous shit i i cannot i cannot anymore bro at the end of the day man listen we know they're hypocrites we know kimball is a hypocrite we know sbi they're all hypocrites we understand that and it's funny because these are the people that will cry and complain that everybody else is hypocrites but at the end of the day you literally got caught here talking about some absolutely nasty shit which listen you have every right to talk about it i don't care i don't i don't want you to take it down or anything you have every right to talk about how absolutely disgusting and filthy you are but don't sit there and try to pretend to be morally superior above everybody else when especially when it comes to the same subject Subject. this is sexuality we're talking about everybody was sexualizing eve and you got mad over that actually the funny thing is people weren't even sexualizing eve half of the time they only started once you tried to start censoring it which is hilarious in and of itself and again it wasn't sbi in particular that was censoring it it's just people that think like them and act like them but overall this conversation is ridiculous and i am not surprised that kim belair is like this so anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video hope you did enjoy it if you did consider leaving me a subscribe i would greatly appreciate it. don't forget to like the video comment let me know what you thought and i'll see you guys on the next one hypnotic out